Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to find the area under or bounded by a curve and a line. And here we have y equals x plus 2 and y equals x squared. Now you first have to find where they intersect, and that is minus 1 and 2. So there are upper and lower limits for this integration. We have to integrate y equals x plus 2. Find the area under that, integrate y equals x squared, find the area under that, and subtract the area under x squared from the area under x plus 2. Then you'll get this area here. And this is, e oh. this is equal to the integral. x plus 2 and then upper limit of 2, lower limit of minus 1 dx equal to a half x squared basically raise the power by 1 uh, multiply by 1 over the new power times a half plus 2x Upper limit of 2 and lower limit of minus 1. Now, you do a half, substitute in 2, the upper limit, keep the square bracket, minus this with the lower limit, half of minus 1 squared plus 2 times 1. Right, this is equal to 2 squared, 4 times a half, 2 plus 2 times 2, which is 4. Right, minus 1 squared is 1 times a half, half. Two times minus 1 is minus 2, so a half minus 2. So now you have 6 minus minus 3 over 2, or minus 1.5. equals 7.5 so the area under y equals x plus 2 with a limit upper limit of 2 and lower limit of minus 1 is equal to 7.5 now as we go into a new page find the area under x squared so equal Upper limit of 2 and lower limit of minus 1 x squared dx this is equal to m plus 1 3 times the third 1 over the new power yep, an upper limit of 2 lower limit of minus 1 and we have one third of two cubed minus substitute one into the equation minus one sorry So now you get 2 cubed is 8 times a third, and you get 8 over 3 minus minus 1 cubed is minus 1 minus minus a third. Eight thirds minus minus a third equal to nine thirds, which is equal to three. So now if we go back to the graph we can find that 
the area under if we make a line there and a line there the area there all of that 7.5 and then the area here just under the x squared graph is 3 so now it's just a matter of subtracting the larger from the, the smaller from the larger so you get 7.5 minus 3 is equal to 4.5 and then the area is equal to 4.5 square units and if you don't understand why we subtracted it it's just because you find you can't find that area in one go you just find all of that and then you find all of that and then when you subtract the larger the smaller from the larger you're just left with this we just left with this here, which is equal to 4.5, and that is how you integrate to find areas bounded between curves and lines. Stay tuned.